Tojo's popularity. He was born on December 30 of 1884 in Kohimachi, Tokyo. He has three brothers and his father was Idenori Tokyo, General of Japan. Like his father and his ancestors, he trained to be a soldier. He graduated from the Imperial Military Academy and the Military Staff College, where he graduates with the number 17. Because of his promotion, he got an ascent to second lieutenant. He was known as the racer for his trade of arms and dedication of work. Tojo went to the Japanese army in Switzerland. By 1909, he got married with a woman named Katsuko Ito. He got seven kids, were three boys and four girls. Tojo was named professor of the military university to train people. In 1918, Tojo and his recruits saw action for the first time. He was sent to Russia as part of the expedition of Siberia, fighting to really harsh conditions of snow and very cold climate in the civil war of Russia. He was in a movement named Tosheiha. During his stay in this movement, Tojo was ascended materially and just a few months later he created Double Leaf Society. He was elected military attached in the Switzerland and Germany of the Weimar Republic. He learned observing nationalist movements such as free crops or the Nazis. At the time of Monk Nen incident in 1931, the precipitated invasion of Manchurundia, the Kwanguntan army would go and search Tojo to fight in China, where he got the rank of commander. In 1934, he obtained the command of the 4th Infantry Bridge. Just after declaring the he silence to Emperor Irito after the fall of Ni Nirikun Jiken, that was a coup, the monarchs reward him with the ascents to Lieutenant General. In 1937, the 4th Infantry Brigade that Tocho was commanded left Manchurundia and penetrated Mongolia through the province of Chahar. Because of this, this infantry advanced more than 700 kilometers of the enemy territory, conquered the cities like Xingbei, Dolonor, and Chenbe. This was an strike success for the Japanese army, and because of this, the General Sakai Koji catapulted Tocho to the fame, and this he promoted him to general range. In 1938, Tojo came back to the infantry to Manchuria to control all the attacks that were led by Mao. He came back to Japan to take the charge of deputy minister of the war. Two years later, the general Hideki Tojo was assigned to minister of the war of Japan. A few months later, there was a rupture with the U.S. that caused Tojo occupied the charge of prime minister of Japan. He was the minister number 27, and he occupied his charge during the Meiji Revolution. His political career began after the First World War, where he served as a military attache on Switzerland and Germany from 1919 to 1922. At the end of the 20s, he became the head of the mobilizations of Ministry of War. His position made him feel committed to that military force of Japan should, that should have uh, developed of the industrial economy. His political ideology emerged in the interwar era to the limitations of Japan's power in Paris Peace Conference and the agreements set by the Society, Society of Nations. Jojo and Terran and ultranationalist movement called Taisei Yukon Saikai, led by the Secretary Sado Akar. In 1930, Jojo requests the reorganization of the army, armed force uh, and the same, at the same time, resource of the Manchuria to the Japanese economy. He was responsible for Japan entry into the Second World War and was appointed Minister of, of, war, of War in the 1940s and led Japan to ally with Germany and Italy. When the Prime Minister was unable to ally with the United States, Georgia began to take him out to own everything in the power of the military army and later uh, the military parties. Uh, during October of 1941, his leadership took the portfolios of foreign affairs. In April of 1943, took power in education. On October of 1943, he began to enter the internal affairs in the commerce and industry. In October of 1943, 
and a mission in November of the same year. In February of the 1944, he took power from the total general staff of the army. Hideki Tocho, as you already know, he was the Prime Minister of Japan during most of the Second World War. He became called commissary or blade in English because of his sharp and decisive actions that manifested as he rose very quickly to military hierarchy. In 1937, he was named Chief of Staff of the Quantum Army in Manchuria. The next year, he returned to Tokyo as Vice Minister of War and he was one of the leading supporters of Japan's tripartite pact with Germany and Italy in 1940. In July of that same year, he was Delegated Minister of War in the cabinet of Prime Minister Kuno Fumimaro. In 1941, he succeeded the Prime Minister and he enforced a new order in Asia. When Japan bombed Pearl Harbor, Tojo became the number one enemy of the United States. But as Prime Minister, he elevated his alliances with the Axis powers and he extended the Japanese military control over the Southeast Asia and the Western Pacific region. When proposals for surrender were coming in, Hideki Tojo fiercely opposed even though Japan's despair was increasing. Japan finally surrendered in August 15 of 1945. The human rights violated during Hideki Tojo regime were Article 3, everyone has the right to life, liberty and security of person. An example of this human right violated is when he massacred a lot of people, that he did many times. Then, in Article 4, no one should be held in slavery or servitude. An example is when he promoted and permitted slavery. Article 5, no one should be subjected to torture or to cruel, inhuman or degrading treatment or punishment. An example is that he used torture as a way of taking information from people. Article 7, all equal all are equal before the law and are entitled without any discrimination to equal protection of the law. He treated people unfairly depending on what he wanted. In Article 9, no one should be subjected to arbitrary arrest, detention, or exile. He arrested people without, a, without any facts of guilty. So these were basically the human rights violated during his regime. And that's all. The actions of the commander Toho were always beneficial to his country until he commanded the attack to Pearl Harbor in 1941, which led U.S. into the war and later threw atomic bombs into Hiroshima and Nagasaki, which affected the lives of millions of innocent families by his, by his bad decision. His impact started with the control of the Japan's foreign affairs, commerce, education, munitions, industry, and the alliance with Germany and Italy. The end of his, of his reign was in 1944, when the Emperor Hiroshito removed him from his Prime Minister position. In 1948, in 1948, he was put on trial as a war criminal and found guilty of investigating Japan's aggressive foreign game policy and for permitting the abuse of prisoners in war. Because, because of that, he was later hanged. After the defeat of Japan in the Second World War, the United States allies in the occupation and rebellion and realization of the Japanese state between 1945 and 1952, the U.S. occupying forces led to General Douglas A. MacArthur in lace which spread with military, political, economic, and social reforms. In September of 1945, General Douglas MacArthur took charge of the Supreme Command of Allied Powers.